The Muskingum Conch method is a method of flood routing that improves on the classical Muskingum method by using physical numerical principles established by Conch to calculate the routing parameters. By way of comparison, it may be affirmed that while the classical Muskingum method is hydrologic in nature, the Muskingum Conch method has a distinct hydraulic basis. This table compares both methods describing their differences. The key to the understanding of the theoretical basis of the muskingum conch method is the recognition that the diffusion wave applies through a wider range than competing waves such as the kinematic and dynamic waves. Kinematic waves do not attenuate, while most flood waves attenuate at least a little bit. On the other hand, dynamic waves attenuate too much and therefore do not represent flood waves in typical cases. Diffusion waves, lying in the mid-range of attenuation, are by far the most applicable wave from the standpoint of practice. This fact was recognized early by McCarthy in 1938 and later by Conge in 1969. However, unlike McCarthy, Conge tied the Muskingum method to the properties of the governing diffusion wave. In this wave, Conge was able to relate the method's routing parameters to the geometric and hydraulic characteristics of the reach under consideration. Given the demonstrated simplicity of the muskingum conch method, particularly when compared to alternative hydraulic routing models, the former remains a strong candidate among the gamut of available hydrologic routing models. This is particularly the case in view of the fact that hydraulic routing methods are generally unsuited for hydrologic applications involving intensive watershed basin routing, where clearly the use of a much simpler method is advised. Thus, the muskingum conch method emerges as the only diffusion wave routing model, which is simple and accurate enough to be suited for large-scale hydrologic modeling applications. The strength of the muskingum conch method is clearly its theoretical basis as an analog of the diffusion wave equation. Kunch realized that the Muskinga method and the kinematic wave model shared the same theoretical basis. Furthermore, Kunch was able to calculate the error of the first order numerical scheme and to tie this error to the hydraulic diffusivity of the diffusion wave. This accomplishment paved the way for the calculation of routing parameters in terms of geometric and hydraulic variables thus circumventing the need for the expensive and impractical stream gauge measurements. The muskingum conch method is accurate because of its strong theoretical basis. Its numerical properties, including stability and convergence, have been extensively documented both in theory and in practice. The method is strongly stable and with excellent convergence properties for values of current number in the neighborhood of 1. This property of strong stability and excellent convergence all but assures its grid independence, that is, the property of a numerical scheme to reproduce the same result regardless of grid resolution. Competing numerical methods, including the kinematic wave, can be shown to lack grid independence, casting a cloud on their theoretical correctness. In summary, the muskingum conch method is the only numerical analog of the diffusion wave equation based on a straightforward, explicit, point-by-point -point computation, all the while featuring grid independence. No other flood routing method can claim this particular set of properties at this time. The basic routing equation of the muskingum conch method is the following, in which J is a spatial index 
n is a temporal index, and c sub o, c sub 1, and c sub 2 are calculated as follows. The parameters k and x are calculated as follows, in which delta x equal reach length or space interval, c equal flood wave celerity, q unit width discharge, and s sub o channel bed slope. In nature, flood waves exhibit a nonlinear behavior, that is, their celerity and attenuation properties tend to vary with the flow. The magnitude of this effect varies with the cross-sectional shape in predictable ways. Three asymptotic cross-sectional shapes are recognized. One, hydraulically wide. Two, triangular. And three, inherently stable. The inherently stable channel is that for which the hydraulic radius is a constant in the overflow channel. The shape of the inherently stable channel has been calculated by Pons and Porras. It can be shown that the nonlinear effect is strongest for hydraulically wide channels, weak for triangular channels, and totally non-existent for inherently stable channels. In practice, most cross-sectional shapes are likely to be close to being hydraulically wide. Thus, the nonlinear effect may be marked in certain, if not typical, cases. Notwithstanding the nonlinear effect, there are two ways to calculate the routing parameters in Muskingum Kunch routing. One, the linear approach, and two, the nonlinear approach. In the linear approach, the routing parameters k and x are based on average or representative hydraulic variables, that is c and q, and kept constant throughout the computation in time. In the nonlinear approach, the routing parameters are allowed to vary with the flow, that is, to vary for each computational cell as a function of local flow variables. The trade-offs between linear and nonlinear muskingum kunch routing are described in this table. The muskingum kunch method represents a considerable improvement in computational accuracy when compared with the related Muskingum method. The only caveat is that the parameter calculation should be based on values of flood wave celerity C and unit width discharge Q that are representative of the reach under consideration. To accomplish this objective, it is recommended that GIS supported geometric and hydraulic data be used to better estimate the relevant input data and variables on which to base the calculation of the routing parameters. The muskingum kunch method is reviewed to further clarify its theoretical basis and encourage its wider acceptance and use in current hydrologic engineering practice. Its theoretical background and computational accuracy are reviewed and clarified. The method is recognized to be the only numerical analog of the diffusion wave equation based on a straightforward, explicit, point-by-point -point computation, all the while featuring grid independence. We note that no other flood routing method can claim this particular set of properties at this time. Mm -hmm.